thank you everyone for staying with us. The security situation in the country gets our attention of specific interest to us on this program. It's a political platform. So we're talking about the actions of government and the reactions perhaps from opposition. So sometimes we get experts to give us perspective so that we can make informed decision as a nation. So I've been talking with Mr. Femi Adeshina, the spokesperson of the president, Muhammad Buhari. He's been talking to us from London. Thank you so much, Mr. Adeshina. We, we are now being joined by Mr. Mike uh, Ejofo. He's a former director at the uh, State Security Service, DSS. He joins us from Abuja studio. Here in the Lagos studio is Mr. Ken Okolugu, a political analyst and a member of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us on the program. Let me quickly come to you, Mr. Jofo, in Abuja. Uh, straight question is the fact that are you impressed so far? Four years afterwards, the Dapchi situation happened. Are you impressed with the way this government has handled the security situation, especially abducted people? Well, uh, that's uh, like putting me on the spot, uh, assessing government. Uh, you know, one, uh, politicians have the way of uh, assessing situations. I assess based on security because I'm not uh, a politician. Uh, there are certain things that have been done. There are certain things too that should have been done better by, by all standard. If you talk specifically for Dutch girls, it was a sad development that uh, we never expected will happen again after Chibok uh, episode. Uh, but uh, thank God, the government also came into the rescue by getting the girls, even though one of them is still left based on religious ground. So that's also a serious challenge. Uh, we we will continue to manage security situations. We have various degrees of challenges in the country. You are, like your intro, you will talk about uh, the headsmen, you talk of the Boko Haram kidnapping, and so on and so forth. So. Uh, we have myriads of problems, so it's, it's, uh, it's neither here nor there. I can't come out to say the government has done well or government has not done well, because if you recall that security is one of the cardinal points of this uh, government when they came in or during their campaign, that they're going to tackle security, but uh, uh, talking objectively, uh, was, we still have the challenges on ground. Stay with us, Mr. Jeffo. I have a few technical questions that I'll be asking you. Let me ask perhaps someone who is on the panel, who is a politician here. Mr. Okoligbo, your party uh, has perhaps been reacting to some of these issues. Some of it, uh, uh, some critics of your, of your party will say they are rather not uh, too uh, good, especially coming from a main opposition party. Uh, your party was in power when those girls were kidnapped. But as the situation is now, what are your assessments? Well, let me first of all start with what uh, uh, Febby said. Uh, it's, 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 I'm, I'm, I mean, I know Febby Adeshino from the fact that he, when he was in the Sun newspaper, he'd always stand for the truth. But I'm, I'm totally disappointed for the first time I'll say that, that Febby would actually justify the statement that the president made to the Archbishop of Canterbury. I'm a knight of the Anglican Church. And as a knight of the Anglican Church, I'd always stand to speak the truth. And... Archbishop Welby happens to be the spiritual head of the Anglican Communion. The president disgraced, not only disgraced the country which he leads as the commander in chief. Those are strong words. Did yes. You say the leader of this yes, country. Yes, he did. He did. Those are very no, strong you words know, I had for to, a leader of this it's, country. It's important for me to say that because why would he, Gaddafi died October 2011. We have always known that Gaddafi was one of those that was giving out small arms. But we don't share borders with Libya for crying aloud. The last time I checked, Nigeria shared borders with countries like Republic of Benin and Cameroon and Chad. We don't share borders with Libya. Now, most of those people that they have said have brought in these arms from Libya, we are found to have been those who aided Boko Haram in the past. They had nothing to do with the headsmen. Dan Ali, the, the, the Minister of I mean, Defense. You're, you're saying of this, but you don't have the security Oh, but please. Let's, when the, when the Commander-in-Chief gives, 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 gives the Commander-in-Chief. But when you give him some security reports, the security reports should have come from somebody like the Minister of Defense or from his National Security Advisor. But when he's speaking, what did Dan Ali say? What did Dan Ali say? No, but Dan Ali said that the grazing routes 
who have been blocked by the headsmen, uh, the grazing roots of the headsmen have been blocked by the farmers, and that they were natural grazing roots. His national security advisor echoed the same thing. First, they condemned the, the, the Benway laws on anti-grazing. They said that was the basis for the crisis. They condemned the Taraba law on anti-grazing. They said that was the basis of the crisis. For crying out loud, these are, these are those who feed him with the security reports. None of them told us about Gaddafi. Well, so why would you speak to the Archbishop of hearing, Canterbury you just, and you tell us that Gaddafi is responsible for you, the killings are you, are you in hear, Nigeria? Are you just hearing some of the consequences I have, I mean, I've never of, had any of the post-Gaddafi era to the African region? But, are you just hearing did it? You, have you seen any headsman that has been arrested that is, that is of Libyan extraction or a Nigerian who has been arrested, who happens to be a headsman that we can confirm that has been interviewed by the security agencies, and we can confirm that it's of Libya. We're talking about actionable intelligence. We're not talking about intelligence, you just, we're to, you're talking to the outside world. When the former Protect general, your country, a, a former that's general what I'm saying. And the commander in chief gives an information, a security information, it's, it should have been extracted from intelligence. But all those who are supposed to be giving him those intelligence reports have all spoken on the same issue. And not one of them mentioned this line of thought. So where is the actionable intelligence coming from? Who has been arrested? We're talking about, even the governor of Benue clearly said that those uh, 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 headsmen were, 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 were Campton Nasarawa. And those headsmen were said to be of Fulani extraction. How many of them have, be, have been able to find their way out of this country? You remember, most of them, where they can go to is Chad. Now, if you're talking about Chad, I can even ask, accept the fact that we share the same border as the Chad. Where are the small arms that have been recovered that have been proven that they're the ones that were bought by Gaddafi? The president said that we are managing the matter quietly. Making noise would not help. It looks like you want a president that li likes to make noise. You see, let me tell you the thing about uh, President Buhari. I have a lot of respect for him. Let me just say that. And don't get me wrong when I say some things because we, we tend to speak out of a bit of anger sometimes at what is happening. Uh, you can manage such a crisis. You manage such a crisis when some three of your, of your citizens have been killed. You're managing it quietly. It took, you, it, it took you almost three months to visit the state where it had happened. Taraba, there are thousands that are being killed. Dan, I mean, Theophilus, Dan Juma was his commander-in-chief. When his former commander-in-chief stands and says that the military is even... He has, no, he has no confidence in the military. That's the vote of confidence. He passed a no vote of confidence in the military on protecting. What crisis are you managing quietly? You see, somebody, was, somebody sat the other day we were joking about it and they said, oh, the president, when uh, Abaribe talked about his incompetence, why would you blame Abaribe? Because when the Minister of Finance goes to the president, she just goes like, oh, president, we actually have to refinance and we, um, we have to sell a lot of the daily debts and all that. And the president just goes and, oh, yeah, yeah, even when he doesn't understand what she's trying to say. I mean, it was just a joke. Do you understand? But the person that was joking was only echoing what Abaribe said on the floor of the Senate. And when the president says things like he said to Archbishop Welby, he, 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 he gives us a lot of concern. All right.